My name is Cicely and I have hypothyroidism. I was eight um, and I had tonsillitis and so my mum took me to the doctors and he looked at me and he was like, mm, we're gonna like send her for a blood test because there's just like something like not quite right. It came back that I had hypothyroidism. I went for like a proper like doctor's appointment um, at the hospital. She was really nice, but um, she basically told me that I had to take tablets for the rest of my life. And I took that quite hard because I was just like little and I, I didn't understand like really what that meant because I thought it would be something bigger than it actually is. Like I was kind of expecting, I, you know, I'd be at the hospital a lot. I'd have to have loads of tests. I might be like, you know, like I started sort of like reeling off like all these sort of different situations. And I was like, because I, I just, I just didn't understand at all. I'm Claire and I have congenital hypothyroidism. It was diagnosed when I was two weeks old um, with the heel prick test when I was a baby. Um, and they rang my mum on a Friday and said, we'll need you to bring her in um, on Monday. And then that was it. She was worried about what it was. They hadn't actually specified um, what, it, what it was that they wanted to bring me in for. Um, so she was very like, you know, is it something really bad? Is it something else? What is it? attached to, why, all them, all them questions. She wasn't really ever, she didn't really get an answer on the Friday, it was just bring her in on a Monday. They took me for a scan, they scanned my neck, uh, and they said that at the age that I was, the thyroid should be like the size of a grape, um, and there was nothing there, it was just, it was just empty. Uh, so I was started on levothyroxine from, from that day, and it was, um, mixed in with milk and then as I got older they'd give me it maybe in like a Jaffa cake or in a banana and cereal stuff like that just to get me to take it really. I hated taking it as a kid I still hate taking it now. <laughs> I'm Marcus I'm 13 years old and I've got an overactive thyroid gland. I noticed that something was wrong about five and a half years ago and I've been diagnosed since two and a half years ago. It didn't suddenly happen. I thought it was sort of natural, but I started to not be able to breathe, so I was constantly getting out of breath, and I, I was always hot. I was relatively thin because the thyroid gland makes my body work harder, so I need more food. I went to the GP and had a blood test. Then I went to the consultant and di diagnosed me with hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism to me, um, when it was described to me by my doctors, it was that my body's going two times the speed it should be. Basically, your thyroid is producing too much of the hormone it should be producing. I was diagnosed when I was 13, and I would have been um, in year eight at school. I found a goiter in my neck, so my neck swelled. Um, which is quite common with hypothyroidism um, because the thyroid gland is being enlarged. Um, and we were actually on the way to a friend's house um, and thankfully that friend was a doctor. So he had a look um, and said, oh, it could be nothing, but just get a blood test to be sure. Um, and that's when I got the call back um, from the doctor to book an appointment. Um, and I, looking back now, I can see that I had the symptoms of hypothyroidism. Um, so I experienced um, things like hot flushes um, and um, uh, talking really quickly and quite a hyper personality um, and sleeplessness um, and uh, obviously a big appetite um, and not putting on any weight either. My mum saw me, um, she hasn't seen me for the last five years and I was very skinny um, and then saw a big lump in my neck and then she thought okay let's go see a GP. GP wanted to get an ultrasound, um, but that went really quick. I think they knew something was wrong, but they couldn't tell us. We had the ultrasound, and then after that, they want a biopsy. Um, so we had to go to get a um, biopsy done in my neck, which was um, the most horrible thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then after that, we knew that it was cancer. I thought I was gonna die, <laughs> um, and I never thought I was gonna have it. I remember going and meeting my um, thy the thyroid specialist, my consultant, Miss Pitkin, 
um, and then she held our hand. I remember so well my mum was crying. Um, I couldn't cry because I wanted to be strong and I, I couldn't process it very well. I didn't know how to process it.